Alrighty, guys. This is your boy, Drew Pyro, and uh, we're pretty hyped up today. Now, um, the 27th of July has gone by. It's the 28th today in Australia, just because uh, we're a bit ahead of time zone-wise with uh, everyone, so I have to wait till today, obviously, um, for this. But this was actually a thousand times better than what I expected, and it's completely different from what I expected as well. So, the first Inazuma 11 trailer for Aris of Balance, or whatever it is, it's probably going to be properly translated soon, has just been revealed by level 5, and I am going to just put this one out there now. One thing about this completely blew my mind out of everything else, and it's completely different from what I expected, so uh, I'm not going to play the trailer with sound, I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to skip over the bits, I think. I, I'm just going to go to the bits that are important in the trailer, and um, yeah, so... For starters, this is actually set in the same time as Endo's, um, Endo's soccer period, but the thing is that it's in an alternate universe, like, this isn't the Inazuma 11 universe we know, this is completely different, yes, it has characters from there, yes, it has dinosaurs there, but it's in a completely different universe, like, multiverse theory that's explored in a lot of superhero kind of things, it's sort of like, um, how in, let's just say... Um, DC, there's multiple versions of Superman and stuff like that. Now, uh, this is the exact same thing here. This is just a different Inazuma universe, which is pretty interesting. Um, so far, we haven't been confirmed with, um, new Hizasawazas and that. Um, this guy here, I don't know his name, but he's the main character. And, um, basically, soc the soccer field, they pl they're on, like, a remote island, and the soccer field they played on is, like, being banned or something, or not, so they can't play soccer there, so they decide to, um move to a different location, they do they do a bit of practicing as well, and they want to challenge the football frontier, um, so we're going to keep skipping here. This guy here, he's talking about Fire Tornado as a Hizzas Warza to, um, he says like Fire Tornado there to someone, which like, I didn't really think of it too much at first, but I'm trying to just skip forward, they're talking about just, what do you want to call it, leaving and going to like play soccer somewhere, this guy looks pretty cool, out of all the like main characters, he probably looks the best. But that, who cares about this, honestly? This is not as hype. Um, gonna skip, just skip, I'm skipping along here. This is the first match. I'm pretty sure that's Tekken Academy. Because um, they actually use Death Zone um, later on in the trailer. Tekken versus Raymon. I'm, I can't... I don't... Look, that doesn't look like Tekken. But I know that's obviously Raymon. Oh, no, that means we went past it. Uh, yeah, so they go to... They actually go to Raymon Junior High. And obviously it looks a lot different from Go. And um, looks different from the Go and the old Raymon thing. So to keep on um, playing along now. Um, so yeah, these guys actually joined the Raymond 11. Now, I did say I was set in, in um, Goenji and um, Endo's timeline. But obviously, they're not there at Raymond. That's pretty crazy. It's like, wait, what the hell? <laughs> it's pretty random. And uh, back to this match. This is the first match they play. And the Raymond uniform, this is their coach. Uh, that's besides the point I'm just trying to get. Alrighty, this. Alrighty, this wristband thing here. It's like, a, like those Vivo Smart things that you use to keep track of weight and crap. Um, I actually own something that looks very similar to that real life, and I presume that's what it's based off. Now, um, I'm pretty sure this game's actually not made for the Nintendo 3DS, it's made for the new Nintendo console coming out called the Nintendo NX. So that's pretty pretty weird. Um, and that actually ha and it confirms it in the um, the second trailer we've got going on, which we're gonna look at after this. But uh, basically this watch thing, it's called the 11 Band, in Zoom 11 Band. And, um, yeah, it has a big part. You can actually train your characters with the butt. Like I said, we'll look into it a bit more. Um, the char um, trailer, the Raymond uniform looks very different. It's, n it's nothing too exciting, but I'm um, here. This is weird. Like, these are the new managers, I think. Or some of them are new managers. And uh, what is the interesting bit here? Uh, yeah, there's the coach. I don't, I don't know exactly. Alrighty. I don't know how the bands affect them exactly. I think it might, I, I honestly don't know, but from what I've gathered, maybe, like, connects their, uh, fighting energy to, like, some, some other players. For example, this guy right here, randomly, just out of nowhere, uses Fire Tornado. So, that's pretty, pretty random. Um, does, the visual, like, quality looks really cool. I'm looking forward to when the anime starts of this, because it's animation and game right here, you see. Uh, this guy, I have no idea who that guy is, but anyway. Um... See, that's alright, I guess. I don't know, the Raymond characters don't look too interesting. This guy looks fucking crazy. I sit here, and this is the bit... Uh... Where is it? I'm just trying to find the bit where he says that. So, no, apparently that guy here, he looks weird. Uh, he's apparently captain of another important team. 
Oh, that, I have no idea who that guy is. But, uh, anyway. That guy kind of looks like Tema. Sort of, not really. Anyway, oh, that's the main character. And I don't know why he puts his fingers like that. It's weird. Anyway, here, um, where is it? Yeah, they're rushing up here. This is where he says they're using Death Zone or something. And he says Death Zone Kai, which is the second stage of Death Zone. So, yeah, there's that. But that's the bit, that's not even the bit that's interesting. Um, this is where it gets, whew, this is where it blows my mind. So here, I have no idea what this is. Um, there's Endo and Yonji though. Like, spiritual which just confirms they're going to have a role in the game. Now, this bit here, I didn't think of it too much at first. Like, because if you guys remember in the original Inazuma 11, um, 2, when you first meet Fubiki, which is this guy here, he can switch between his personnel and his brothers, but, yeah, keep on watching along, has, uh, Kido and Kakeyama again, so... Obviously, it's set around the same timeline as the original game, because all these characters are in the young form, blah, blah, blah. And then it just goes through other main characters. And this this is the bit where it blew my mind after this bit here. Wait, just waiting for it. Waiting for it. Yeah, so that's just the three main characters, I believe, of this new game. But anyway, aside of that whole trailer, was like, this next bit blew my mind. So obviously... This just confirms that Fubiki here is going to have a uh, impact on the game. But that's not the crazy bit. The crazy bit that is that his brother is still alive. Fubiki Asta. If we just... Yes. So that's his brother there. Now his brother actually died in the original games. Wait, we're going to get a better, better shot. There we go. There it is. Alrighty. So Fubiki Shiro... After his brother died in Avalanche, absorbed his brother's personality and was able to become a forward and defender. But... In this game here, both of the brothers are alive, and I'm not going to lie, back in Season 2, um, Fubiki, his strike of personality was awesome, he did not give a shit, and that's his brother, Astio Aiden, Aiden Frost in the uh, English anime, but dude, this guy is awesome, I'm scouting this guy out straight away, That that is just sick that he's in the game, that he's going to be a main part with his brother. I don't know if you just gonna have to fight them or if they join the team. I'll be so sick if he joins the team. But, um, this is awesome. Like, when I first saw it, because this guy doesn't quite look like Fubuki Shiro, I thought, oh, yeah, maybe that's, like, his, this is said in the future, maybe that's his son. But then I saw this, I was like, what the fuck? This is, this is sick. This is straight off. That's so cool. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the first trailer. So, uh, it's 2017 project, so, yeah. Not quite sure how to respond to this, but so far it's like, pfft, just pfft. no words can be used to describe how crazy that is. That's the end of the trailer. Nothing else there, but um, just the fact that Fubuki Shudo, Fubuki Asta is alive. That's ridiculous. That is just that. That's why I said at the start it's set in a different universe. So that's just really cool. And the other thing. Is this Inazuma Eleven Band? It's uh, I have to get the sound off because I want to get copyright strikes. Um, yeah, so this is this thing here. It's like one of those smartwatch things. So it's actually a real life product. Um, now this this is also confirms why it's uh, why it's not on the set on this game's not for the Nintendo 3DS. Um, if we keep some playing and it goes past the band, kikofu. Anyway, come on now, life. Move forward, plucks. Link. Link a cable. Yeah, alrighty. So this is why. So it has the game device here, and then there's um this. Now the reason why, um, I say it's weird because well, for starters, it looks really weird that they just randomly decide to do that for uh, Inazuma, and then there's a uh, there's Fubuki, Fubuki Senpai, and then there's the main character. So um, you can actually transfer player data from the actual game to the band and while you're walking around and that actually boosts some stats which is further in the trailer but um because this is like this it's like game device and looks completely different from anything we've seen it doesn't look like in the nintendo wii U gamepad on and not even the um just definitely doesn't look like the 3ds um makes me believe it's gonna be on the nintendo nx the next nintendo console so that means you gotta waste your mo money even more to buy a japanese console to play a japanese game that's uh good going Nintendo taking my money to play Inazuma. But um yeah, um I'm not sure how this is gonna go exactly. If it's gonna be um I wonder how if it's gonna be like a console that connects to your T V or if it's a portable console, I'm not entirely sure because no one knows anything about the NX. 
But the game does come out next year. For all we know, we might I could be completely wrong, and it's just on the Nintendo 3DS again. But at the same time, I don't really know of, know that the Nintendo 3DS can connect to this wristband thing, so I'm pretty sure it'll turn a new console. But uh, it's probably not going to come out till the end of next year. That's what I'm thinking. I hope the anime starts up soon. I hope the anime is like... It's probably going to be... The anime might start next start of next year, but this game probably won't come out till like halfway through next year, end of next year, so there's that. Um, to be brutally honest, um, this thing's just like whatever, I highly doubt it. I'm going to use it. People are going to see me, why the hell is you're watching Japanese and like, fam, it's Inazuma. What? Oh, get off me. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so just to take everything in, well, sorry, um, not a single Go character has been spotted, no Tema, nothing, uh, so it's just definitely set around about, around, no, it is set in the time period where Endo, Goenji first took on the football frontier, but the thing that blew my that's interesting, is that we haven't technically seen Endo or Goenji, the only character we have seen is Fubuki Shudo. Shudo, which was a main character in Season 2, not really as much as in Season 3 of original Inazuma, and he did play a fairly important role in the first season of Go. Other than that, never saw him again. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm pretty excited to see what happens with Atsia. I wonder if it's going to go off anything, how um, will it be revealed it's a multiple universe kind of thing. But, um, yeah, if it is multi-universe, I'm just curious to see what they're going to do with Endo and that. And I'm also curious to see, uh, with Kiddo as well, the three original Inazuma Living characters. But, um, yeah, other than that, this is pretty cool. I just want to go back to the... Oh, yes. That Asti is alive. I'm so hyped. I'm looking forward to see actual gameplay of the game to see if it's still the same Inazuma formula or if it's going to be on the Nintendo NX and it's going to be more like a FIFA kind of game instead of a... Uh, well, it's probably going to be, like, RPG-ish, like, the game, how you can teach each character different things and stuff, but I wonder if it's going to be, like, the gameplay is going to be, like, the Inazuma 11 games on the Nintendo DS, or it's going to be more like Strikers or FIFA. Something like that. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got to say. This blew my mind. I hope it blew your mind as well, because, honestly, it's just... Whew. And, yeah, um... Sorry that there's no background music, but copyright OP. And, yeah, this is, uh, Inazuma 11, Iris of the Balance. Balance of Inazuma 11, Iris... I reckon, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be Inazuma 11, Balance of, <coughs> oh, sorry, uh, Inazuma 11, Balance of Iris, the fourth, in the third series of Inazuma, seventh game, seventh season, the revival after Inazuma not being a thing for a few years, so that's pretty hype, um, yeah, I will guess that's it guys, I'll see you all next time, this is Trupara Shad, signing out. Actually, no, before I say that, leave your comments on what you think about this in the comment section below. Obviously, it's an important thing. Anyway, this is True Fire Shad, signing out. Peace. Alrighty, guys. Um, sorry, that's not actually the end. Found Goenji, how he looks. Um, yeah, so Goenji, I'm pretty sure it's like a comparison shot of what he looks in, in Izuma, then Balance of Iris. Now, obviously, all the characters are tall as hell in this game. Like, what the hell? They're so much taller. And Goenji looks pretty cool, actually. His new design. He actually... He still has, like... He still looks like Goenji. still has, like, that intimidation about him. But he looks like... Goenji before was just, like... Intimidating and powerful. This guy looks cool, intimidating, and powerful. That yeah, cool factor in there. Just going to quickly show this. The new design of Goenji looks pretty sick. And apparently he made it in here because he was the... Where's the other thing I found? Goenji will be in the thanks to fan vote. Yeah, here it is. Uh, most popular character out of all these guys that they wanted to add into the game. No Endo, so Endo probably is going to be in the game. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool to see. But other than that, guys, um, yeah, this is the actual end of the video now. Bye.